They're not going with four forwards. The draw will be just outside the offensive zone and a fight breaking out immediately. Florek getting into it and a whole pile of players getting separated. Two fights going on as Florek tackled someone out at the top of the slot and other players still fighting just on the other side of the blue line. Yudes' helmet is ripped off by McElrath as he lands a few punches on him and Yudes gets thrown down to the ground with more happening that we just can't see from this vantage point because the fans are standing. What a quick escalation as Florek is being escorted to the box and now it looks like we'll have a goalie fight. Subban getting into it, getting ready for his tilt with Scott Stager. The gloves and the helmets are off with the sticks by center eye. Subban grabbing, landing the first shot as Stager as Subban tries to work it away with the left hand. Stager lands another shot. Subban still have to have one and gets a good one to the side of Stager's face. Now Subban takes a hit from Stager as they're still tied up. Another feign and missing as Subban keeps pulling back. Now Malcolm trying to hold and making a punch as Stager was trying to work some other equipment off of his right arm, missing on a few hits. Subban still waiting, pushing forward, landing a punch, then taking a harder one to the face, getting a few more from the right side of Stager as Subban holds. The officials nowhere near it, content to let him go, but they'll stop without anything else. Subban and Stager both head off as Malcolm gives a fist pump to the crowd walking back to the dressing room. So if the Wolfpack are shut out, Subban won't have played all 60 minutes of it in what could be his first pro shutout. Now they show the replay of the goalie fight, which didn't have too much going on for a few long stretches, but otherwise some vicious hits. Most of them landed for Subban, but Stager getting a few more to Malcolm in the face as well. There's plenty more to sort out with 13.32 left in the third and a minute 22 left on what was a Providence power play. Who knows whether or not that will remain the case, but when we come back, we'll straighten it all out for you with Providence leading 5 to nothing on the Providence Bruins Broadcast Network. Are you tired of going to the movies every weekend? Forget the overpriced popcorn and grab some 